Hi, I'm Samson Mo, the Chief Strategy Officer at Blockstream and CEO of Pixelmatic. And today I'm here at BTC Turk to talk to you about the Bitcoin white paper. The Bitcoin white paper was first published on October 31st, 2008, and it was shared on the cryptography mailing list, a spin-off of the famous cypherpunk mailing list, which was popular in the 90s. The white paper was written by an individual that went by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. To this day, it still remains a mystery who Satoshi is, which is, given the decentralized nature of Bitcoin, entirely acceptable. Bitcoin is open source, doesn't have a CEO, and no one person or small group can decide its fate. The white paper is titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. An interesting tidbit is, Besides the title, the word Bitcoin does not appear anywhere else in the white paper, actually. The white paper is a 3,319 word technical document explaining the foundations of the protocol and the technology behind Bitcoin. In just nine pages, it very simply and succinctly described the future of money. You can still find the original on the mailing list archive online. You can also download the PDF on various sites, such as bitcoin.org or btcturk.com for those of you who speak Turkish. With Bitcoin, Satoshi figured out a way to create a true peer-to-peer -peer payment system that solved the double spending problem without sacrificing decentralization, something all other electronic cash systems before it failed at doing. The white paper release also came weeks after officials proposed a $2 trillion bank bailout package in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis, so it couldn't have come at a better time for those seeking an alternative to the centralized banking system. Blockchain refers to Bitcoin's chain of time-stamped events, where transaction data is secured and stored in chronological blocks, viewable as a public ledger. Interestingly, Satoshi himself never used the word blockchain in the white paper or his posts on the Bitcoin Talk forum, but preferred to use time chain. Bitcoin's proof of work mechanism, which is based on Dr. Adam Back's hash cache, is a process by which Bitcoin miners have to guess the target hash assigned to a block. You can think of it like solving a puzzle. This process is essential because it facilitates consensus, secures the network, processes transactions, and mints new Bitcoin. Proof of work is unforgeable because it requires energy. All Bitcoin transactions are permanently viewable on the Bitcoin public ledger, which means anyone can see the balance and transactions of any address. However, the user's identity is unknown. In the white paper, for added privacy protection, Satoshi recommends creating a new public key and Bitcoin address for each transaction to keep your transaction history from being linked to you. For many people, reading the white paper is their first step toward a more holistic understanding of Bitcoin and its innovative technology. It has been fundamental to Bitcoin's success, helping transform how we bank and interact with money forever, and creating billions in new wealth in the process. Unfortunately, it has also inspired a whole industry of copycats and cheap knockoffs. So resources like the original white paper are more important than ever for explaining why Bitcoin is unique and why there can never be another one like it. On the 13th anniversary of the Bitcoin white paper release, I recommend not only taking the time to read the original white paper, which is now available in almost 40 languages, but learning about layer two Bitcoin solutions such as the Lightning and Liquid Networks, which are helping to scale Bitcoin so it can become the world reserve currency it was destined to be.